What's up, YouTube? Vengeful Sorrow here once again, and uh, welcome back. It's uh, it's actually not been quite a while since we've made our last video. It's been a couple few days. Um, it's actually been, it's been what like it's Wednesday already, so it's been a few days. <laughs> Time's kind of uh, not your best friend when you got nothing but time. So it's been longer than I wanted it to be but here we are right so what are we doing today well <clears throat> today we're going to drink ourselves and i can't really ever tell what's the right way up with these videos because I, I don't know if they flip or whatever but an ice house edge and why are we drinking ourselves an ice house edge well i've actually done a little bit of experimenting not for any real purposes but just because that's just how it happened but uh, I, I tried a couple few different kinds of beer, just regular beer. And there's a couple that I prefer. And uh, this happens to be one of them. It's just kind of smooth. It doesn't have a hard kick. And it might make me a pansy little bitch, according to some. But, you know, I, uh, I'm a pansy little bitch. <laughs> That's just how it is. I, uh, it's a pretty smooth alcohol. And... Is eight percent, so it's not like it's, uh, you know, like Bud Light or something. That's like three point five or four percent or some shit. Uh, it's got a, it's got a little bit of a potency to it. So let's uh, crack this bitch open and we'll see what's up. You know, I, 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 I just, I bite my nails. You know, obviously, I'm sure y'all know that if you've watched a lot of my videos, but. It's always the ones that are like, the ones that are valuable to opening a can. So, I think this might be the one. Okay, well at least I opened it enough. There we go. So, yeah, my life in terms of can opening is not the best. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's get started. Ice cold, straight out the fridge. <sighs> Refreshing. Pretty good. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a... <laughs> it's like a, a couple few... They sound like crows, maybe? Outside, just kind of screaming. <clears throat> really weird. It's actually... Um, I don't know if I told you all about this, but... And maybe, maybe it's right now because I'm not up that early. I haven't noticed it recently. Uh, I did notice it about a week ago, but previously, months ago, th right, like right on the outside of this window, <laughs> there's a uh, there's a woodpecker that just goes crazy, like on the side of the house, and it's woken me up a few times, and it's uh, it's loud, loud, holy crap. Like, it seriously might be right on the outside of this window. Because it, like, must vibrate something in the window or something to, like, magnify the sound. Because it's just loud as hell. So, a couple other things. Another one of my preferred beers, just Budweiser, standard Budweiser beer. That's actually what I um, use to calculate my base. You know, I take the I take the milliliters of the beverage, and I multiply it by the proof of the alcohol, and then I divide it by the equivalent of that in Budweisers, which happens to be, you know, the number is 3,550, so if I were to do that with this, it would be like 16 fluid ounces, I don't know, I have to do the milliliter calculations and all that, but this is about, I actually did it, it's about like two and a half Budweiser's, and that's pretty smooth, so why not, right? Yeah. <sighs> 
oh, we're getting some good burps today. It's been a while since we had that. So, what am I doing today? Well, let me kick you back to about two days ago. Alright, so, I said, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been longer than I anticipated for making a video. I had initially planned on doing some sort of, like, gaming thing. Right? Well, as it turns out, my um, thing was malfunctioning, right? Like my little box, my little gaming capture box. So, <coughs> I was trying to stream some <coughs> Xbox 360 games because I've been on a kick for playing those recently. I played quite a few of those because I had a backlog of games I hadn't like played or finished or whatever. So I was going to start recording some of those. Or not just recording, but streaming, really. You know, with the audio and microphone and this and that and all that. But turns out that wouldn't work. So I was like, okay, well, let me just let me record them. Maybe I can make some montage or something, you know, and put it on my gaming channel, even though it's demonetized. Or maybe I can do something for this channel, you know. So I tried, and as it turns out, the software malfunctioned, and I was like, okay, well, you know, it, it, it affected the box, you know, the gaming capture box, and I was like, okay, well, it, you know, I, I tried to narrow the issues. I was like, this cable works, this cable works, this cable works, and I kind of tried to isolate it. I'm like, okay, it's got to be a, a software issue or a hardware issue, so... The, uh, I actually opened it up, I looked at it, it looked fine, it didn't look like anything got fried or anything. And software, I, I actually tried to uninstall the software, because I've been with uh, Hophog, Hophodge, whatever you want to call it, for like six or seven years now, various devices, and um, I've had multiple issues. It's very intuitive and easy to use. But it's not reliable, you know, unfortunately. So, I tried to uninstall the software and reinstall it because that's worked before. Turns out the software actually wouldn't uninstall. It, like, gives me some error. Can't find the file. So when I go to re-download it, it's like, oh, maybe I'll just download new. It wouldn't download. And at this whole time, since it couldn't find the file, I, I tried to open it. It's like, okay, maybe it works now. Now, it, it, it actually opened the software, but it, um, it didn't populate. It was just like a blank window, really. And it got stuck like that. So, I, um, I, I had to look online to find how to fix that particular issue and I found it I found a workaround I was able to completely delete off of my computer the software and uh, and after I did that I re-downloaded it and it didn't work okay well this was late the other night, so I wasn't able to spend too much time on it, even though I got nothing to do. It still was late, and I'd been working on it a while, amongst other things, you know. So I, I kind of was tired, so I put it put it down, and I picked it up the next day, and I tried. And for some reason, you know, I tried some new things, and I couldn't do it. I could not get it to work. Um, and then today, I actually spent quite a considerable amount of time on it trying new various things, looking online for solutions, and um, actually five minutes before I started this video, I got it working, and the, the thing it was, uh, I went into the advanced settings and then like <sighs> looked line by line on everything, and I, it's weird because I I've, <laughs> I've should have fixed it already because I did the solution already. What it was, was it had up-to-date drivers, 
and obviously it, it you know it, the cable works cable connects to it. it it's got power right so that obviously would have been a problem and i thought about that and i checked it a long time ago i was like okay maybe it's a driver that was fine initially the firmware was fine and that's why i was a little confused what it turned out to be was once i deleted everything you know i re-downloaded everything it turns out the the uh, firmware was corrupt it was giving a series of like incorrect things so i had to delete that in particular and i re-downloaded it and i booted the computer you know like you got to refresh and restart and all that shit and it worked uh, and this is the best sight of my life a blue light because it's been stuck on a dim red light for like two or three days now and it's been pissing me off <sighs> now I still can't get the streaming to work but I can get captured to work I can capture videos so I can do the montage kind of thing. But what I was actually thinking about doing was streaming through my PS4, even though I, I'm not currently playing any PS4 games. I figure I'll start some so I can get some streaming going until I can fucking figure this shit out, right? So, I, um, and, and previously, one of the reasons I didn't stream very much on my PS4 was because I couldn't figure out audio, and maybe it was my old headset that I had, because I, I, I got a new headset recently, and I say recently, like, within the last, like, eight months or so, not within the last eight months, about eight months ago, <laughs> so, um, so that, I, I tried the audio with that, and it works, so, um, I actually did some tests, and I posted on Twitter as well, um, but I did some tests on making sure that the streaming is set up properly with um, with audio so my microphone on my camera works or my camera my microphone on my headset works because I don't have the PlayStation camera because that's a waste of fucking fifty dollars or whatever it is because I don't care about doing the two games that it has some uh, attachment to that I can utilize it for I don't care you know, so. So my plan is, after this, to start streaming uh, random PS4 games. Perhaps I'll play some. I actually did start a couple a while ago and I never finished them. Maybe I'll get back to finishing them and bring y'all along for the ride. I got uh, The Witness, which I started... I just could not get into. I did not like the game. I mean, there's some cool little puzzles, and it's like, ooh, that's interesting, but man, after a while, it's just stupid. Uh, so maybe I'll go back and try that. Um, uh, and then, Neo, the, uh, like, the Japanese setting, Soulsborne-esque game, I started that, I want to say, like, a month maybe ago. I played the first, well, the first level, which was neat, because you're in, like, the Tower of London or something, and then you go to Japan because you're, like, a 18th century sailor or some shit, and you go to Japan, and that's, that's where the game picks up, right? So, I started that level, and I got killed by a motherfucker, and I gave it up. I didn't give it up, I just never went back to it. You know, I had other things I was doing at the time, other games, and I just kind of forgot about it. And then I just, when I booted up my PS4 just a little while ago, I saw that that, I started that game and I forgot about it. So, maybe I'll get back to that. So, stay tuned is what I'm saying. Twitch, you know, and, and YouTube, and um, I'm trying to be a little bit more active on YouTube and um, Twitter. Uh, so, you know, watch those things and uh, we'll see about what's coming
And I bet y'all think that's it, don't you? I got another one. Because one of these motherfuckers doesn't do much. You know, it doesn't do anything. But two of these. I found that two of these is probably like the perfect amount. You know, because it's like, uh, like I said, it's like two and a half beers equivalent, maybe a little bit less. So two of these is the equivalent of like four beers, which is like the equivalent of four shots, which is, you know, the perfect amount. I've narrowed it down. For me, the perfect level of intoxication is around about near four to five shots. Above that, I'll either black out or pass out and probably puke. Below that, ain't nothing but like, like if this is my normal self, this is me on like two shots, you know. It doesn't do much. I gotta hit that three threshold in order to really feel anything. And then four is like the perfect. So between these motherfuckers, we're gonna feel great. And we're going to play some games and uh, bring y'all along for the ride, which, you know, with me. So. Now, unfortunately, and I'll get to drinking in a second, hold on, but unfortunately, this video is going to take a long time to upload, so I'll put on Twitter first, before, you know, as the video is uploading, I'll start uploading, then I'll put on Twitter, but, um, yeah, just so y'all can start watching or whatever. So, I'm going to be quicker on this one, I promise. But, what I do want to do over the next couple minutes is just tell y'all what I've been doing with gaming. Like I said, I've been playing some um, Xbox 360 games. And some of those games, actually all of them, and the reason I played all of them was because I had started them before, previously, and I never finished them. And I've got a collection. I've actually got a list. I, I went through my collection. I've got a list of like 20 games maybe. It's less now. That I've started and not finished. And I want to finish them all. Eventually. Not right now. But I want to finish them all so that there's closure. So that I don't have lingering things in my life. You know. So I'm going to list all the games. I'm going to um, just give a quick, you know, rating. And then, uh, damn, I'm fucking dripping. And then, um, and tell you what my favorite was. <sighs> Alright, so, and these are, these are some, some of these are shitty games. I'll be honest. Some of these are games y'all probably never heard of. Some of these are games you probably played and hated. Some of them are games you probably loved. But, they're in my collection. I started them at one point and I never finished them, so I finished them, okay? And I there was, there's seven of them. And I beat them over the course of five days. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. Lost Planet Extreme Condition. It's, uh... You know, I... I Initially, when I had played it, I, uh, the first time, I really didn't get into the second half of the game. Uh, so I thought it was going to be all, this is what the game is. And I kind of got bored, you know. So when I went back to finish it, I got to that point, and I kept going. And the game changes dramatically about halfway through. Not necessarily for the good. Not necessarily for the bad. It just depends on how much you're enjoying the game in general. Damn, 20 minutes, guys. Holy fuck. I need to hurry up. Alright, so... 
I preferred the more smaller scale combat of the game in the beginning, towards the end of the game. It's all mech combat, and the monsters are all gigantic, which, you know, you're in a mech, so it's not as much, but it's a, it's a mech game, and I was not expecting that, because the first half is very light on that kind of combat. The second half is heavy. In fact, that's all there is. Um, body Count. That's the next game. You know, it's, it's touted as a generic shooter. Fuck, man. I, you know, I'll just tell y'all right now. This is the longest my facial hair has ever been. Like, I think. And that's pathetic, right? I've been only growing it for, like, a week and a half. It's the longest it's ever been allowed to grow. It's, uh, it's fucking itchy, dude. This is not, it, there's nothing here. I'm a bitch, I'm a, I'm a girl. But this shit's itchy as fuck. Anyway, it, it, it touts itself as, like, a generic shooter. And it essentially is. And part of the part of the thing about it is um, it's very generic, and it's surprisingly fun. There's some missions towards the end where you don't even care about the objective. You just kill everybody who's in the arena, and you follow the waypoints. It's a great game to get to get drunk on, I'll be honest. And I didn't get really drunk, but like a little bit, you know, kind of like now. It's a great game for that. Um, part of the reason I bought the game in the first place, like five years ago or some shit, was because it's generic. I actually have like a deep inside fetish for that shit. Like I like games that that suck. Because I feel like I can find the good in that game. I have very few games that I've ever played that I dislike or I absolutely hate. And playing seven of the shittiest games in the span of less than a week, I've actually learned to be a better judge of things. So, Body Count, I rather enjoyed. Lost Planet, I kind of hated the second half. Let's see what's the next game. Turok, the 2008 one, where you're fighting dinosaurs. <sighs> now I gotta hurry up because I think the video cuts off at 30 minutes. And I don't feel like uh, splicing them together. Alright. Um, long story short, I hated fighting the dinosaurs. I liked fighting the people. It's a very generic game. Just like body count besides the dinosaurs it's unique but I hated it I had tried on two occasions prior so this is my third attempt to beat the game I just hated fighting the dinosaurs I pushed through and I did it um, uh, this is gonna be one that you probably honestly have never uh, uh, never heard of I only picked it up because it was like two dollars and I'm talking years and years and years and years ago. Men in Black Alien Crisis. It's a it's an on rails shooter, literally on rails. You don't interact with the left analog stick. Actually, you do, but you kind of. It's like an arcade shooter. You lean directions. And the game has two different really types of things you do. I could give a full review of it honestly and I actually might uh, on my on my next on my other gaming channel you know um but bottom line is surprisingly it was fun because it was an arcade shooter it's you know you point and shoot most things die with one hit which is cool because you got this, the one gun that shoots really fast um but the, there's another part of the the game where you um, you walk around as like a detective. That was the stupidest thing. It's like the game designers did not know how to program a game where you walk. 
because you walk, you literally walk this fucking slow. And it was painful, man. Because one of those levels where you're a detective is this huge, like, balcony, like, rooftop party. And you gotta walk across the building. And it's like, okay, well, I wish I could get over there. Yeah, well, about 45 seconds later you will be. Because that's how long it'll take you to walk there. Um... starting to get to me gosh what was the next game I played I'm probably missing some let's see let's see let's see how many did I count how many do I worry lost planet body count Turok man in black all right so let me think real quick Bro, this was like a week, less than a week ago. How'd I forget all this shit, man? Alright, give me two seconds. I'm gonna look. <sighs> Fuck it, man. I gotta actually look at my list. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Of the next three games... I enjoyed all of them. I absolutely loved all of them. Dark Void. Let's start there. Dark Void. You probably never heard of it. It's an older game. Actually, not as old as I thought it was. Was Because of most of these games I played, they were like 2007, 2008. At least some of the older games that I got. And I'm running out of time, so I just gotta tell you. It's fun. I'll tell you the basic premise of the story. You fly through the Bermuda Triangle. You you get lost at sea, as the Bermuda Triangle myth is. And it turns out, everybody who's ever got trapped in the Bermuda Triangle is there. It's a different void, as they call it. A different universe. And aliens, thousands of years ago, got trapped there as well. And you're fighting the aliens. That's basically it. There's some interesting characters in the game as well. Um, now this next one might surprise you, considering, I don't know how many angles you've seen in my room, you personally, because I know I've seen, I've shown every angle in my room, or at some point, so if you go back far enough in my videos you'll find it. I've got two Halo posters on my wall. I've never played Halo ODST. I mean, I played it. Like I said, all these games I've played, started, and never finished. I played, like, the first five minutes of the game. Didn't like it. <coughs> and quit. Not that it was bad, just I gave up. Right? <coughs> now, when I say I absolutely loved this game, I loved it because it was Halo. There was... There's actually no elites in the game, and that's actually, as I think back to it, something that I didn't realize until just this moment. It's brutes, jackals, and grunts. That's all you're fighting. There's some ghosts, and some wraiths, and some banshees, and there's even a scarab in there. That's the game, you know. So basically, th there's two parts to the game, and I hate one of them. I despise one of them. There's an overworld, kind of like a Zelda overworld. It's called the New, New Mombasa Streets. It, you might as well have been in New York City. It's just basically skyscrapers or walls on either side. It's very dark. You have to use the, the night vision uh, ability to see. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything. So... Basically, that. Basically, um, there's that. And basically, that overworld is you get from point to point. Now, there's like six or seven missions. That's it. That's not a lot. You know, I wish there was more content, but I wish there wasn't this overworld on the stupid game. Because that sucks. Anyway, 
the missions are fun. The missions are very fun because they're goal oriented. They're mission oriented, you know, orientated. You go from point to point and you do things like there's do this next, then do this next, then do this next. The overworld is basically go here to get your next mission. And I, I hate it. Why couldn't you just give me the next mission? Anyway, um, last one. And it's my favorite. I'm dripping. Anyway. Um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. The game came out in what, 2006? So you're talking a 13 year old game? That's fucking insane. Because this game, number one, the graphics are decent. They're not the best thing ever. They're not modern standard graphics. But they're not bad. The game came out in 2006. I'm, you're fucking talking like San Andreas came out in 2004? The, a difference of two years made that much of a difference? That's impressive. And that's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, besides the graphics being pretty pretty decent. Uh, they're not great, like I said, but they're, they're decent. You know? They work. They get the job done. I was so impressed with the tacticalness of working with your team. Like the levels, the way they're designed is... You've got... There is never one way to do things. You've got, there's at least like two or three doors to get into a room when you're, when you're, you know, breaching a door. Or you could shoot through the windows, or you could plant, or not plant, but like you could toss grenades in. And, and there's different, just so many different ways for your team, for you to control your team to get things done, you know. It's just so... Such a good game. I was so impressed. I didn't give a shit about the story. I just fucking loved that gameplay. And I was so impressed with a game that was 13 years old to be that good. And it's something that's been sitting in my collection for like 8 years or so. And I tried it and I fucking hated it because it's very hard to get into. The control scheme is so different than nowadays, right? Back then there was no standard, you know? There was no, like, nowadays you point or you aim with the left trigger and then you shoot with the right. In this game, you take cover with the left trigger and then you can go different directions. You zoom in with the right thumbstick which is similar to halo which was intuitive for me because i played